I'm from a large city where I don't really know even my neighbors' names, and uh, doing a course that partly revolved around eco villages taught me the value of community and the importance of it, and made me realize how disconnected we are from each other in sort of the modern urban environment. Everyone here just took me in, made me feel welcome from day one. Just being in the middle of the desert is beautiful. Being with people who really care about the environment is beautiful. For us, being a kibbutz is going back to the basics of what it means to be a community, of people working together, living together, sharing our lives together, both socially, economically, spiritually, and now environmentally. The ecology started interconnecting with our, our other ideologies here. It didn't start as an ecological community. We became part of the Global Eco Village Network 10 years ago. We realized that there were people who were interested in what we were doing and wanted to learn from our own experiences here. We set up the Center for Creative Ecology as an educational framework that we could bring uh, groups of people in. Within the Center for Creative Ecology, our flagship program is the Green Apprenticeship, which is the, the six-week training where we can really give people from, from all that we've learned uh, over the years and present a, a holistic view of community from the ecological, from the social, from the spiritual and from the economic aspects. If you have a plot of land pretty much anywhere in the world, you can go, start a garden, build your own house, but it's also something that you can just adopt into your lifestyle. You don't have to make such drastic changes, but you're basically enriching the earth instead of destroying it. It's one of the few programs that really puts together a lot of different aspects of practical, ecological living. There's these threads of the organic gardening and the building and the permaculture design and the eco-village design going through the whole length, intermingled with other special things if it's getting to know the local area. The daily structure of the Green Apprenticeship course is in part theoretical learning, reading materials, studying together, discussing the issues, and a lot of hands-on practical work. We spend a lot of hours actually building buildings, working in the garden, learning how to put things together, and so that when you leave the course, you can get out there and actually do what needs to be done. The building is really fun and just understanding that anyone can do it. An element of the Green Apprenticeship now is, is what we call Community Design Studio where students sit together in small groups over the period of the six weeks and work on designing their own community from, the, uh, from vision, building a vision together, um, from the, the, with the social aspects, economic and ecological. And then also the community design aspect was really good for me, just understanding um, how to make a community work and realizing that I do want to live in a community with a nice support system. So we talk about uh, our own vision on Latan and we talk about the, the social uh, framework here, how we make decisions together, the, the, the way people interact and we talk about the economic basis and different economic models that, uh, that are on this kibbutz and, and in other communities in the region. Because of the setup of kibbutzim in Israel, it allowed for us to, in very small distances, communicate and go visit other communities that see how they work and see how different they are from each other and from Lotan. Participants in the GA live in the new Echo Campus. These are 10 geodesic framed straw bale earth plaster domes. The Bustan neighborhood is kind of a prototype ecological neighborhood. Uh, that we've designed and it's evolving all the time. I'm mostly sad about leaving the Bustan neighborhood and living the way I've been living for the past six weeks. The students are dealing on a day-to-day -day level with uh, the practical applications of what they're learning in the course, whether it's sustainable building or grey water techniques or solar cooking or composting toilets. And it's also functioning as a miniature community within the broader Lotan community. Living in a mud dome has just been a wonderful experience. Your level of understanding is much higher than just learning it in a class or even doing it in a separate place. It really brings home what we're learning. <laughs> we're living in it. In order to think out of the box, you can't live in a box. Something about living in a round place makes us think differently, and that's the whole point of the course. For a period of time in our lives to think differently about 
everything that we've been taught until now, to really observe what goes on around us and inside of us. I do think that people leave here with confidence and that's exciting, that's what we want. It's about bringing change and I think we're sending people out in the world, out into the world as uh, agents of change and we're seeing it happen, the, 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 the feedback that we're getting from people as they um, get involved in different projects all around the world. We're creating slowly, quietly, a grassroots revolution which, uh, which will hopefully bring a, a, a very, very positive message uh, to the whole world. I would say the majority of the people, it really does change their life coming to do the Green Apprenticeship. It's opened a lot more, a lot of doors and the contacts I've made here and just people coming in has opened, made me realize just how much knowledge is out there and that anything I have a question about, I can just ask someone and they can point me in the right direction and there are so many people out there doing so many amazing things and I feel like I can just go into any community and I have, I know what they're talking about now, I can ask intelligent questions. I, I mean, I barely knew what permaculture was a few months ago and now it's, it's just what makes sense to me. All this knowledge I have is something that I feel responsible to pass on to others. It's given me a purpose in all of my travels. I can go somewhere and look for an eco-village nearby and try and work there or see what they're doing there and kind of have more of an understanding of how people are living. I know that as soon as I get home, I'm gonna get involved in uh, the permaculture scene back home, uh, integrated in my life in as many ways as possible.